Alright. We're on our way to Home Depot. Um, we're gonna get the welder and some other little pieces that we need, like some flux wire and some tips, some copper tips and a couple other stuff. And that's what we want right now. So check out our long journey. And I got Mikel with me. My guy Pacheco, aka Hans, aka Hans Sheik, is in the building. Ready to get this work. Yo, say what up to the people, my guy. They're ready. <laughs> we ready. We're all set. Getting dressed up. <laughs> you, you putting the military clothes on? We got mechanics clothes on, but the job done. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. So we end up getting a bunch of stuff to do this job. You know, the mold machine, we put it in the back corner. Got a new Lincoln welder here. We're gonna take care of that. The machine works perfectly, we know that. And we got this now. We bought a generator, you know, we got it. Jay took it, bought it, got it for us so we can finish the job. Yeah, I don't wanna fuck around. Hopefully, this time around, we already did we test runs. Show them a test run. Show them a look, test look run. Look at this. We, we we just did one weld just to check the fusion. And look at that thing. Amazing. And if you look under, it didn't burn through. It actually just reinforced it. I don't, I don't think you can see it very well. Where is it? It's, it's this one right here. Oh, man. That looks good. Yeah, that's just a quick test one. That was the end. That looks so good. So... So now we got the proper amperage to run the welder consistently and have consistent amperage for the welder so that we get consistent welds. It's a big problem with welders. Obviously, you can see from all our test casts trying to get consistency. Obviously, we got no consistency. In the early days, when we when we would turn the machine on, we get a couple consistent welds, but then everything else turns to this, just clumping up all over the place. Yeah, that's no good with that caterpillar. Yeah. So, so that just lets you know you you don't have enough amperage to get a good fusion. So now we got everything kind of set up. Crawl is there. I'm about to power up the generator. We're about to get it back on. And um, Jay's gonna start up that brand new machine he just got for us. That's what you need right there. That's what you need. One of those, a good one of those. Getting ready to do this. Generator's on. I don't know if you can hear me. Back at it, we're under the car, we're about to start welding it up. Wet all this area, so we're gonna have to take it down. Three more plates and we're all fucking done. See, this is what happened when we had the bad machine. 
It got a little bit crazy, but we already cleaned it up. We ran some new passes over it. We're gonna clean that up, run and finish the end of the play. Yep. We're grinding all this down right this, now. This is what this is how you know you have low amperage to your machine. It's not good. So we fixed it. Like stuff like that. We fixed, we'll fix that. We got everything up and going right. So we're gonna finish the job. We gotta get the fourth plate in and then the two little baby plates and yeah, we're almost done with this car. Yeah. It's looking good. Look at those fucking wild, bro. Amazing. Alright. Everything's nice and grinded. These wells look amazing. We got all of them on. Everything's grinded. It's finally all welded up. We could finally put the rear end back in. It's been here for a little bit, but we got it all done. That's what it takes. Sometimes you just gotta go out, get the machines, and just do it. I'm gonna paint them just to get some rust protection. You see, it's only me and Jane here all the time, so that's how you get stuff done. Yeah, right now. Make sure this thing is sealed up properly. Put this POR primer. I didn't get a chance to get the uh, sealer. Well, Plates welded, everything welded up nice. I sanded everything down and uh, started hitting it with the uh, POR. Hans is over there, putting his, uh, changing his work clothes. But we're done for the day, man. It was a long day. We had to, you know, take uh, time to stop in between because, you know. We don't want to warp the metal and we don't want to move too fast. But uh, we got it welded. And the man of the day who always seems to pull a little off. Chic. All done. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Got all the plates welded in, all six plates done. 330 is going to get the M3 rear end installed next time you get to watch this. So, before we wrap up this video, you know, wow, we got all the whips out today. Yeah, some of them, some, some of them, some of them. out here. Yeah, a couple <laughs> things. This is the old one. We got to make this a good one. Um, so now, you know, got the covers on. We done welding. Macheco came through. Always. You're going to see the M3 rear end going to a 330 CI with the ZF5 speed. You're going to see a custom drive shaft built for it. Some I'm some guibos, that's the word of the day, some, the guibo. You know, Driftworks guibo adapter, so you could use a solid drive shaft without having the carrier bearing. Um, but first, I think we should um, do the differential service before we put it in the... Uh, yeah, well, we're definitely going to do that before. We and and, I, don't, and I don't have the tool to take off it's that a, bolt. It's like a tube. 12 or 14 Allen, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, I don't got we'll that. bring it over and we'll take it out. Uh, guys, let me just let's walk through this war zone right here where we spent literally since uh what ten o'clock this morning we started no nine o'clock this morning. So if you think you can't do this yourself in a small garage, you can. Okay. You know it's not hard. You just gotta get a good creeper, a good welder, and a generator that can give you the right amperage for your welder to generate the amount of heat you're gonna need to weld. The plates with into the chassis of the car, or else you're gonna get non consistent welds and it's a waste of time. Underneath the car, always recommend coating everything with the POR 15, they have it in the spray can version now. So, once you're done welding everything up, spray it up, protect everything with your hard work. Here you have it the first look 
at all the plates, welded on the chassis, painted with POR paint. Got a fan running on this side so it can just drive a little bit faster. You know, this side was cooking when I applied it. But I'm just gonna wrap up the plates. All right, man, this wraps up the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you want to see more on this channel. <laughs> Any questions, let us know if you want us to keep on doing more videos on the BMO. What do you guys want to see? Let us know in the comments. It's got some more up and coming videos coming soon. You know, we got some new cars that we still got to work on. That's it. We're going to get them done like we always do. Yep, so thank you guys for watching. You know, we appreciate you guys. Watch more. <laughs> tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a friend. So uh, this wraps up the video. We'll see you guys probably next week with the assembly of all this crapola everything is you know nice and nice and then in that box i have a whole bunch of stuff and this thing came in the clutch but thank you guys take it to semini Ooh.